community-wide on the CW46 continues. Welcome back to Community Wide. Leaves are changing, temps are finally cooling down, and before we know it, winter will be here. So we're helping get a jump on Mother Nature. Is joining us, and Jeff, I can imagine this is a busy time of year for you, even though we've had such warm temperatures. It is getting ready for winter. We have to get in that mode. We are. We're getting to that point to where it's, things are really going to be off the hook, but we've been trying to get a jump start on getting people's furnaces taken care of while we're in this lull of mm -hmm. beautiful temperatures. So what are the steps that people should be doing at home to get their furnaces ready for our impending Michigan winter that we know is coming? Yeah. The first thing I always recommend is start your furnaces up early. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes to be that person that I'm not going to start my <laughs> furnace until November. The holdouts, right? Well, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. This year may be so. November, but <laughs> we want to, the first time that you really need to have heat, turn it on. Mm -hmm. It's better to detect a problem when the temperatures are milder than when we're in the middle of things. Okay. So start the furnaces sooner rather than later. Secondly, before you start your furnace, change the filter. We've probably been using it all summer long for air conditioning and the filter is the easiest thing to forget about because the furnace is generally tucked away in the basement. So we want to change that filter, make sure that we're ready to go for the season, and make sure it runs good and doesn't sound funny. Mm -hmm. All right, now, you brought something with you, something that everybody needs to have. It's the most vital element for getting your home ready for winter. What is that? Would you like to see it? I would love to see it. See I'm it. sure everybody else would, too. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars this can save you, and I'll tell you a little story that comes along <laughs> with this. This is a pack of batteries. Okay. Simply a pack of batteries. Had a friend call the other night, and he was having a problem with his, uh, his air conditioner. It wouldn't shut mm -hmm. off. Well, the AC outside shut off, but the system inside kept running. Okay. And this would have been normally an $89 service call right off the bat mm -hmm. to only find out that the batteries in his thermostat was low and wasn't able to fully engage the system to make it shut off. Oh, geez. So hundreds of dollars can be saved with just a little pack of batteries. And we're going to need these for our smoke detectors mm -hmm. and our carbon monoxide detectors also, where we can get into the thousands of dollars worth of damage oh, along geez. with personal health issues. And now's a good time to be doing this before we get to the cold winter months because we always need to do yearly checkups for them. So might as well while we're checking out our heaters making sure our smoke detectors, our carbon monoxide, they're, they're all working properly, right? Yeah, it's a good thing to do. I, I like to use the first of fall, which we, I think we just passed the mm -hmm. first of fall, but I, I like to use that date as a reminder to change the filters, change the batteries and everything. Whether Even, even whether the, the battery indicator is telling you you need batteries or not, it's mm -hmm. good to do it once a year at least on everything that you have. What are some common issues residents run into in the middle of winter with their heaters that come up? That Maybe if someone at home hears this, they go, oh, I heard Jeff talk about this. This is what I need to look into. Most common problem when, it, when we're talking about a furnace mm -hmm. is a furnace that starts up and shuts off. And it starts up and it shuts off for mm -hmm. no rhyme or reason. Just hmm. starts up and shuts off. And then eventually it'll keep running. Well, there's something inside the furnace which is called the flame sensor, and that detects whether your flame is on or not. It's a safety feature. Okay. Well, after a few years, that flame sensor gets a little bit of corrosion on it and uh, a little coating, and it keeps the flame from sensing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that's one of the most common things hmm. that people run into. A little bit of steel wool, a little preventive maintenance, and you don't, have to, you don't have to worry about any breakdown. So that's one of the things that's very common that happens. Okay, well, Jeff, we appreciate all your tips, and uh, we can always get more from you. Uh, thanks to your, we'll see all your helpful tips and tricks, actually, I should say, for keeping your home healthy and uh, on our sister station, WNBCnews.com, and they can click on the Healthy Homes feature there and get all your tips and there tricks. There we are. So we appreciate all your help with that, Jeff, and all your tips today. Thank you.